what's up youtube welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna be looking at aura selectable style which is called the winter hunter style she is an uncommon outfit so without further ado guys let's get this review started so aura she was requested by a lot of people whenever chapter 2 of season 2 did start and for good reasons it is a very popular skin and now that she actually has an edit style which she actually messed with her color tones very popular so what's my thoughts about her I do like the design a lot, um, I actually like the original one due to the black pants and just the combination of colors with the white shirt, I like that and now they actually switch her hat for a beanie and then she does have a sweater and she has khakis on, uh, still looks pretty decent but in my opinion it's a little bit of a downgrade but it's still pretty cool. I also like what they're doing with the most popular skins, first we had the Scarlet Defender that she did get in Edistown and also the Star Spangled Ranger. And I just love how they're giving edits to old uncommon outfits. I really do like that. And hopefully they keep doing that in the future. So what's the final rating on Aura with the Winter Hunter edit style? I'm going to have to give Aura a 9 out of 10. The original one does get a 10. And if you actually rate the whole skin for what it is, I am going to still give it a 10 out of 10. But I just think this edit style is still pretty cool. But it falls a little bit short from the original one. So without further ado, guys, let's get these combos started. For the first combination with Aura, the Winter Hunter style, I am pairing it up with the Toxic Kitty Backlink. I just love how the Toxic Kitty Backlink has the color of the mask and then that wrap that is red and yellow really complements the sleeve that is red and then the yellow beanie she does have. The backlink itself is like a neutral color so it goes really well with the skin. For the Harving tool, I'm going with the Scepter. The Scepter is basically just a Scepter that is all golden. I do like that combination of it, especially because she does have a gold chin. And it just fits the theme. For the glider, I'm going with the classified. The classified is basically a gold with black glider. It is very cool. It is very iconic. It does have that spy theme whenever you descend to the battlefield. And the color schemes of it having black really complements the gold. It matches really well with the skin. For the contra, I'm going with the fireflies. The main reason why I'm going with the fireflies is for that red ribbon she does have in the lanterns themselves. It's very cool. The red matches really well with the skin. And then having flames and fireflies around you it's a nice touch and for the wrap i'm going with the ratty the ratty is like has a little bit of gold i don't know if you could tell on the edge of the gun it also has red and black and those look really good with aura especially the red since she does hold it with that red sleeve it looks amazing so enjoy the combo For the next combination with Aura with the Winter Hunter edit style, I am pairing her up with the Cobra backlink. As you can tell, she's a female that actually loves gold and having this backlink actually complements her really well. It's basically just a giant Cobra on her back that is made of all gold. It looks very good, it matches her gold chain and just looks amazing. And on that note, we're going with the Harvesting Tool, the Flawless. The Flawless is a black with gold Harvesting Tool. The gold goes really well with the skin the black usually goes really good with any skin because the black is very universal and overall the feel of it and the theme of it matches really well for the glider we're going with the cruiser the cruiser has that fabric on top of it that complements her khakis really well the color schemes is similar to the skin itself and it looks amazing for the contra i'm going with the cash flow the cash flow is basically just a wind contra with money falling out of her it looks really cool it matches the theme and it just looks amazing and for the wrap, I'm going with the Call Sign Falcon. The Call Sign Falcon is a brown with black wrap. It's very similar to the same color scheme as the skin, and that's the main reason why I'm using it. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination with Aura, the Winter Hunter edit style, I am pairing her up with the Fable Cape. 
The main reason why I do pair her up with the Fable Cape is for the cape being all red that really matches the red on the skin and that fluffy thing on top of it matches her khaki pants really well. For the Harbin tool, I'm going with the Jingu Bang. The Jingu Bang is gold with red. The red complements the red really well. The gold goes really well with the gold the skin does have and utilizes perfectly. For the glider, I'm going with the wet paint. The wet paint is a red glider. It is from a victory royale during season 4. The red is a little off but still looks very cool and it does have graffiti on it so it gives it a little bit of flavor. For the control, I'm going with the getaway case. The getaway case is basically just a case on your wrist. As you're descending to the battlefield, it does float with you so it matches really well with the theme of the skin. For the wrap, I'm going with the golden clouds. The golden clouds is a gold with red wrap. It matches really well with the harvesting tool and the skin. So enjoy the combo. Those are the three combinations I found so far for Aura, the Winter Hunter and the South. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos on your favorite cosmetic scans every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code, either the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps the channel grow. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.